Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the Hydor Coralia Smart Wave Controller. Basically, it's a controller with two outlets that can hold more than four, I believe, wave pumps. There's a little power button right there, and basically you plug in a wave maker to this. You choose one of the three options. This one right here is where it will turn one pump on, then the other pump on, then one pump on, then the other pump on, alternating. And this mode right here is where it turns them both on, then both off. And then right here is the amount of time you can choose for the units to run. So if you want the power heads to be on and off every five seconds, that is an option. Same thing with up to six hours, as you can see here. Pretty basic, you'll just plug your pumps into this, and then you can go ahead and select what time you want them to alternate. So let's go ahead and get this hooked up to a wave maker. So here we have a power head plugged in, and then we have this side right here is what controls that power head. So when this light lights up, that power head is turned on. I have it set for the five seconds just to show you for the demonstration. And as you can see, there it went, just kicked on. So basically all it does is alternates the time that the pumps are on. Pros about this are that it's very simple, and if all you want is to alternate your two pumps back and forth, it's great for that. If you actually want to be able to control the flow and stuff like that, this will not do that. This is a timer, not a controller. So you can't just speed on this. But one pro is that it will work with basically any AC pump. Now the fact that it works with AC pumps is also a con. If you listen, listen to where this pump kicks back on. You hear that big clunk. I'm not sure if you can hear it on camera or not. But basically every five seconds you'll hear that big clunk. Because when the pump turns on, it makes that clunk when power goes to it. And this happens with basically all AC pumps, even the Hydro Coralia ones, which are made for this unit. So that's something I don't like. But that is basically a quick overview of this. I mean, if you wanted to control two pumps that you already had, and if you just wanted to vary the time limit that they're on, this would be great. However, if you're trying to adjust your flow and create flow patterns in your tank, like waves and sort of a random effect, this might not work great for those purposes. However, if you just want to create kind of a wave back and forth thing in your tank every five seconds, which is the minimum amount of time this thing does, this would be great for that. It's pretty inexpensive. It's only like $45 on Amazon, so it's a pretty good deal if you think about it. But that is a quick review. I'd recommend getting this, like I mentioned, if you already have two pumps, but I wouldn't go out and buy this if you have to buy the two pumps separately. So that is pretty much it. Like I mentioned, if you already have two wave makers in your tank, this is a good buy. But if you don't have any wave makers in your kit and you're looking to kind of get into that wave maker thing, I would look into other options because this could get a little expensive if you're paying 40 bucks for this and say 30 bucks per power head. And also, it doesn't really give you that variable control that some other power heads do. That is pretty much it for this video though. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.